Okay, I was interested to see what the 360 stitching was like in um, Nuke. So I followed a tutorial and it's pretty quick. Uh, I've got these eight images, um, 45 degrees, um, Canon 550D, APS-C sensor, 8mm lens, um, uh, in portrait. I, I was going to set up the workspace to 4K since um, the indie version supports 4K. So 4K lat long. Um, and then what I will do um, is select them. They're all in in sequence, so as it pans around, you see. So what you can do, which is pretty cool, is you can um, select in order, and then add the Cara VR camera solver or C camera solver. Um, C, so C camera solver, and then that's got them in order. If we double click on the camera solver and set global parameters, we need to set the film back of the APS-C. Now this is in portrait, so these need to be reversed. So the so the width is uh, 200, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, we need to flip these round basically. So on the uh, y-axis, we're going to copy that and put that over here, and then on the x-axis that's 14.9 I think as you remember um, let's just double check that 14.9 okay so that's correct film and the actual lens is eight millimeters um, okay so that's all done oh that's all the setup uh, and now we just need to do the features feature detect and then we'll do the solve And that's it solved. Now the error is pretty high, 12 point, we need that a lot lower. So a few things we can do is we can put it's the same camera, so optimize single lens distortion, refine. Okay, that's good. What else can we do? Oh, just I hit refine again. Can we keep going? Seems to be getting better and better. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good and you've got this convergence and that's where there's so it near to the camera with the, with the camera having such a large offset of um, it's uh, 30 centimeter diameter oh something else <laughs> I forgot. camera is um, so here's the, the diameter not the radius and um, it was offset about a foot from the from the, um, the 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 pan of the of the of the head of the tripod so that the nodal point of the lens so we need to set that to a diameter of 60 centimeters solve that well not rather not do that let's refine it um, and okay I think that's we're kind of good there um, next thing we need to do is do the C stitch car stitch and this applies a sort of vector warp um, to improve the stitching if we just hide Q and I can just let's show the difference. So before and after, you see, it gets rid of the ghosting. Um, and it, it's slightly, I think we're slightly tilted. The, the tripod's not level. And I, I can tell that because the it looks like the, the building's falling over slightly. Um, so the, the, when I took the photos, the, the spirit level, level wasn't level. Um, but that can be easily fixed with this spherical transform. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but you can, if you add the spherical transform, you can adjust. In fact, I think you can adjust, seem to remember, you can adjust the roll in the camera solve. Have I got that right? Rotation here. So sometimes it gets it upside down, and you go like 180 there, and that will flip it. Uh, but it's the right way up, so we don't need to worry about that. But you can adjust it here, the, uh, the roll heading pitch bank um, or is it yeah <laughs> um, so anyway we've got that that's good right now so let's try and paint out this big hole at the bottom um, so or what I'll do is I'm going to use the um, another oops do that um, I'll just close these out um, so yeah under tool uh, tool set we've got uh, lat long uh, you got you see I've got a few here. We want um, comp. 
Um, and then I think if we just go, this will take a filter hit, I think. So well, let's try it anyway. So we go into there. And then if we have a look at the spherical transform, in the spherical transforms, you can, can do a conversion from um, uh, a lat long to rectilinear. See, lat long to rectilinear, which is, which is where you want to do all the compositing. So we want to paint out this hole. Um, and we've got the focal length as the field of view here. So make it a bit wider, like that, let's say. And then we'll add a roto. OK. There we go. Um, and let's have a look. And we, what we'll do is we'll transform that um, over here, let's say. I'm not sure if it's intelligent enough to get the stuff that's outside, but we'll try and see what happens. And then we'll add a transform to the road to node to transform it back. This is the sort of patch technique. Um, so now that we have the roto transform, we just need to copy that to, to do the reverse. So minus 644 minus, this is fairly sort of basic stuff really. Um, and what we'll do also is we'll go alpha. Okay. And then hook it back in. And that should do it. As, and that has done it, but I'm not. Um, I think we're going to have to shrink down the. the so obviously it's got to be within the bounding box and then we might get the black hole back. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe if we do it. Can I cheat it a bit? Do a trans sort of scale it up? Um, that's something that's going to mess with the scale a bit, but I just want to just cheat it a tiny bit. Oops. Let's go to 1.1. Obviously, that's, you wouldn't, yeah, need to find a probably a larger chunk somewhere else. Okay, let's go a little bit bigger and just feather out the feather out the edges slightly. Okay, something like that. You can see the hard line at the top there. Um, okay, something like that. Okay, and then if we have a look, and hide that. There we go. We've got the bottom painted out 